In the annals of history, few inventors have captured the imagination quite like Nikola Tesla. A genius, a visionary, and a man who dared to dream of a future beyond our wildest imaginations. Among his many groundbreaking ideas, one stands out as the most enigmatic and terrifying, the Tesla Death Ray. In the 1930s, Tesla claimed to have developed a weapon so powerful, he could bring down aircraft, obliterate tanks, and end wars before they even began. He called it teleforce, derived from tele, meaning at a distance, and force, representing the power it wielded. At the heart of this fearsome device was a high-voltage generator. Picture a Tesla coil, towering and alive with electrical arcs, crackling with energy. But what does high voltage really mean? Voltage, measured in volts, is like the strength of a push. A weak push moves something slowly, while a strong push moves it quickly and forcefully, the Tesla coil in Tesla's design wasn't just any generator. It produced millions of volts, providing a very strong push to create a powerful and directed stream of electrical energy. Electricity is all about the movement of electrons, the tiny charged particles that orbit the nucleus of an atom. Imagine electrons as tiny balls. When you give them a weak push, they move slowly. But if you give them a strong push, they move quickly and forcefully. This movement creates an electric current, which can be directed and controlled, fundamental to the operation of Tesla's death ray. Central to the operation of the death ray was the vacuum chamber. A vacuum chamber is an enclosure from which air and other gases are removed, creating a space devoid of matter. Why is this important? In a vacuum, electrons can travel unimpeded by air molecules, which normally slow them down. It's like pushing those tiny balls on a smooth surface without any obstacles. This allows electrons to reach incredibly high speeds, forming a concentrated beam of energy. Tesla's design harnessed the power of electrostatic induction to generate a high-energy stream of electrons. Electrostatic induction involves using electric fields to move charges without direct contact. Imagine a strong magnetic pull attracting metal balls, High voltage electrodes, glowing with a ghostly blue corona, create an intense electrostatic field. This field accelerates electrons, giving them a strong push to near light speed, creating a beam of pure electrical energy. The electrons, accelerated to such high speeds, become a focused stream of high energy particles. Inside the vacuum chamber, these electrons are sourced from a cathode a component that emits electrons when heated or subjected to a strong electric field. Once emitted, the electrostatic field gives them a very strong push, accelerating them down the vacuum tube, turning them into a deadly beam of energy. Tesla's intricate understanding of particle dynamics ensured that this electron stream could be propelled with immense force and precision. A sophisticated focusing mechanism was essential to direct this deadly beam. Tesla proposed using magnetic lenses, an array of electromagnets meticulously aligned to focus the stream of electrons. These lenses, similar to those used in advanced electron microscopes, condense the beam into a narrow, destructive path. This focusing array, a blend of Tesla's ingenuity and cutting-edge physics, maintained the beam's intensity and precision, enabling it to strike distant targets with devastating accuracy. To wield such a weapon, a precise targeting system was indispensable. Tesla envisioned mechanical aiming devices, perhaps mounted on swivels and gyroscopes, linked to early electronic targeting systems. These systems, a precursor to modern-day targeting technology, allowed operators to aim the beam with surgical precision. But what happens when an object is hit by this beam? At the atomic level, the high-energy electrons collide with the atoms in the target causing a cascade of ionization. Electrons are knocked out of their orbits, creating a trail of destruction. The energy transfer causes intense heating, rapidly vaporizing the material. Imagine the molecular bonds of an object being shattered instantly. The atoms ripped apart as the beam penetrates through. Metals would melt, electronics would fry, and organic material would be incinerated in an instant. 